Hey guys, 65 years ago, Milwaukee Power Tools invented the reciprocating saw, and since then, the Sawzall has been synonymous for reciprocating saws. The name was perfect, think about it, Sawzall. Perfect. According to my friend Scott, a power tool like a Sawzall or reciprocating saw is just an expensive accessory holder. Think about it for a second. There's truth in that a power tool really is only as good as the accessory you're using. And that brings me to the topic of Sawzall blades. A reciprocating saw blade may not work that hard and maybe new construction, but on a remodeling site where I do most of my work, it undergoes a real life torture test. Cutting roofing, nail embedded wood, pipes, stucco, plaster, fiberglass, drywall, and anything that needs to be cut that's in our way. It's relied on to be aggressive and at the same time fast cutting. So I want to talk to you about the Milwaukee Axe reciprocating blade. Reciprocating leadership, in my opinion, is defined by the performance of a blade. And Milwaukee's new Axe blade is leading the pack. It has a cutting edge carbide tooth design. And the blades are engineered to be long lasting, fast cutting, and it's all with their carbide tip saw teeth. And uh, Milwaukee claims that they are 30 times, they have a 30 times longer life than bimetal blades, and they cut twice as fast as other carbide blades. They have a, a feature called nail guard, and that's basically features, um, it's, it, it prevents the tooth from fracturing. The blade's teeth may be catching the nail improperly and pulling back upon impact. It has a five TPI design, tooth per inch design, and a cool kind of fang tip which is designed to bite into the wood on first contact, kind of get that cut started on plunge cut as well. The combination of these features allow you to cut through a wide range of materials without sacrificing the life of the blade and with less blade changes. Let's talk about testing the ax, because I put it to the test. I wanted to show you how long lasting, fast cutting capabilities that the saw had. And at the same time, I wanted to challenge the blade with a realistic test that would Basically, you know, be realistic that it's not far-fetched. I, I didn't cut stainless steel or hard and fasteners, boron, cement board, or anything like that because, frankly, I don't encounter those materials that much in remodeling work, and I certainly don't usually cut them. But we cut nail-embedded wood all the time. So I constructed two realistic test boards. The first was a simulated wall cutting design where I simulated uh, sandwiched two two by sixes on edge with a layer of plywood in between like a header and a layer of half inch drywall and a layer of half inch plywood on the other side. Kind of like a wall header construction. It had rows of nails laid end to end in saw curves cut through the two by sixes and I embedded 16D, 10D and 8D common nails throughout those rows the entire length. And by locating the nails towards the center of the plywood, I was able to concentrate the wear on, the, on one part of the blade. Um, so, one thing I want to mention is the first 2x6 had four rows of 16D nails, four rows of 8D nails. The second 2x6 had four rows of 16 nails, two rows of 10, and two rows of 8D nails, framing nails. The second test was a simulated roof cutting, and since we're always cutting openings for skylights and vents, I wanted a common remodeling task to, to mimic that. And so I basically figured out a two to three layer roof design where I took six three tab asphalt shingles and I, I sandwiched them between half inch plywood. And the results spoke for themselves. I was impressed with the longevity, the toughness, and the variety of material that this blade will cut. Um, <clears throat> I guess if I had to buy one blade, this baby would be it. This is pretty nice. It covers all of my needs as a remodeler. And please note that I called the test off where I did because it was obvious to me the blade was dulling and slowing down. And if you follow me on my site and my videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of efficiency. I'm not going to cut with a dull blade. But there are a lot of guys out there that do. Personally, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the blade. But think about it, there's a metric ton of guys that would continue to cut with this blade over and over because either they're too lazy to change the blade or they don't have another blade or whatever. So how far did I get with one blade? I made 45 cuts in that header design um, and, that's, and I noticed two teeth that were broken, but the results were um, 90 two by six cuts, 45 plywood cuts, 45 drywall cuts, 360 16 penny nails cut, 90 10 penny nails cut, 278 penny nails cut. 
Um, on the simulated roof design, I made 30 cuts and the blade just continued to cut effortlessly with no slowing down. I did that after the header test, same blade. Um, I moved on to something else because it wasn't slowing down. So I pulled out some 3 8 inch rebar and I made 30 continuous cuts in the rebar. And at that point, my arms started to fatigue, not, not so much the blade. So I terminated the test. Um, the blade was cutting significantly slower. And again, I would have changed the blade. And I also noticed two to three more teeth were cut. Um, but remember, I would have changed the blade, but most guys won't. These reciprocating saw blades, I was impressed with them. They provide fast, aggressive cutting with a variety of materials. Milwaukee claims that this blade can make a, um, 1,500 cuts in nail embedded wood. And I absolutely believe that after putting this through my wall header nail cutting test. And not only that, they also claim that this blade, which is designed for wood cutting, is capable of cutting through a wide range of other materials like rebar, hardened fasteners, and steel. And I believe that as well since I've made 30 cuts in rebar with a dull blade. I really like that Milwaukee continues to develop innovative ideas and designs with unparalleled performance and reliability. It certainly makes what I do, it's a huge difference for what I do. So what could this mean for us in the remodeling world? The bottom line is that these ax blades with their carbide teeth will allow you to be more productive, work faster and smarter in your cutting applications. Sometimes it's the small details that make the big difference. And this means that your Sawzall will be better equipped to saw all. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun testing this blade. Please subscribe to our video channel, and we'll see you next time. Take care.